السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ہوپ یو آل آر ویل ان پریویس لیکچر وی اسٹارٹ ایکسرسائز ون پوائنٹ ون دیٹ از پریکٹس سیٹ ون پوائنٹ ون ان دس پریکٹس سیٹ وی سالو کوشچن نمبر ون اینڈ کوشچن نمبر ٹو آئی ہوپ یو ٹو سالو دی کوشچن ون اینڈ ٹو ناؤ موو ٹو دا کوشچن نمبر تھری آف پریکٹس سیٹ ون پوائنٹ ون کوشچن نمبر تھری از From the information given below, find which of the point in between the other two if the points are non-collinear state so. That means here you have to decide which point lie in between the two points. If the points are non-collinear then state points are non-collinear. You, you can see that there are six questions are there. In each question there are three points. Three points are there. and the distance between the two two points is given to you and you have to decide whether this points uh, are collinear or non collinear or which point is lie in between the other two point collinear point uh, between point is only possible if the points are collinear if the points are non collinear then between point is not possible uh, you can see here in this figure first figure there are three points 1 b c they are a b c they are they lie in one line so they are the collinear points and b is the point in between a and c in second figure you can see point a b c are the non collinear points now observe these two figure in collinear points you can decide the between point but in non collinear points the between point is not possible to decide uh between point or you can say that the between point is not possible in non collinear points so that means if points are non collinear then between point is not possible if the points are collinear then you can find the point which lie in uh, we can find the point lie in between the other two point okay now the question is on the basis of distance how we can decide the uh, how we can decide whether the points are collinear or not see the first figure if you add ab and bc then you get ac yes that means if you add a smaller segment then you get a bigger segment that means the addition of a smaller segment is equal to the bigger segment then you can say that the points are collinear again i am repeating if the distance between the two points uh, if three points are there and the distance between two points are given to you then the addition of the smaller distance is equal to the greater distance then you can say that the given points are collinear okay got the idea okay. if the addition of a smaller distance not equal to the greater distance then the points are non collinear okay from this you can easily decide the points collinear and non collinear point if the addition of a smaller distance is equal to the greater one then the points are collinear if the addition of a smaller distance not equal to the greater distance then the points are non collinear okay number 3 first question is distance pr 7 distance pq they have given 10 and distance qr is equal to 3 here you can observe there are three points one is p one is q one is r okay as we discuss if the addition of the smaller segment is equal to the greater distance then the points are collinear so here the greater distance is distance pq so distance pq is equal to 10 distance between the point pq is 10 now add the smaller part so the distance pr plus distance qr okay distance pr is 7 qr is 3 okay so 7 plus 3 is 10 okay so therefore distance pr plus distance qr is equal to distance between the point pr and distance between the point qr is equal to distance between the point pq okay if the addition of two distance that means the smaller distance is equal to the greater distance then the points are collinear so therefore point point p q r collinear okay as we discuss if the points are collinear then we can decide the between point that means a point lie in between the other two point now tell me how to decide when which point lie between the other two 
Here the greater distance is PQ. That means PQ is your bigger segment. Okay. This is your PQ. It's a bigger segment. That is a bigger part. And the which point then lie in between? The remaining point is R. Okay. So point R lie in between point P and Q. So therefore, answer is point R lies in between point P and Q. Okay. That is point P, then R, then Q. Okay. Again, I am repeating. First of all, what we have to do? Add the smaller distance, that means the smaller part. If you add the smaller part, if equal to the greater part, that means the sum of two segments is equal to the greater segment. Then we can say that these points are collinear. Second question, distance the RS they have given 8, distance ST6, distance RT4. Here three points R, S and one is T. So what we have to do, we have to add the smaller distance. If the addition of the smaller distance is equal to the greater distance, then we say these points are collinear. Okay. Now here the greater distance is R, S. So distance RS is equal to distance between the RS is equal to A. It is a greater distance at the smaller distance. That means the smaller part of the segment. A smaller part of the segment distance will be between the point ST plus distance between the point RT. Okay. Distance between the point ST is 6. Distance between the RT point is 10, 4. So 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. Okay. Now observe here. Distance between the uh, point ST and point RT is 10 and distance of RS is 8. That means the sum of its smaller part is not equal to the greater part. So therefore these points are non-collinear. So distance ST, therefore the distance between the point ST plus distance RT is not equal to the distance between the point RS. So therefore point which points are there here? R, S and T. Point R, S, T are non-collinear. Non-collinear. If the points are non-collinear, there, there is no need to decide the between, between point. Because between point is not possible in non-collinear points. Now, question number third. Observe here the third one. Distance AB is 16, distance CA 9, distance BC 7. Here the greater distance is 16. So separate is distance AB is equal to 16. I separate it. Now add the smaller distance here. So distance CA plus distance BC. Okay. Distance between the points CA is 9, BC 7, 9 plus 7 is 16. Equal. So therefore, right distance between point C A plus distance between point B C is equal to the distance between point A B. Okay. So therefore, point A B C R collinear. If the points are collinear, the, now decide the between point. If the AB is the greater part, segment, greater part, then which point lie in between yeah, AB and C? So therefore, point C lies in between point A and B. Okay? Now the fourth one. Understood? Now you have, uh, you get the idea how to solve, just you have to add the smaller distance. If the addition of a smaller distance is equal to the greater distance, then you can say the points are correct. To the question number 4, of this question, question number 4, the greater distance is 12. That means distance M and separate in distance between point M and is 12. Now add the smaller part, that means the distance between point L and plus distance between the point and L. Distance between the point LM is 11 and L is 8. So 11 plus 8 is 90. Okay. Now here 12 greater distance is 12 and addition of a smaller part is 19. That is points are non-collinear because these two are not equal. So therefore distance between the point LM plus distance between the point ML 
is not equal to the distance between the point M M. Okay, so therefore point L M N are non collinear. So these points are non collinear. There is no need to divide this idea between point. Okay. Now question number five. Same. Decide the greater part. Is the greater part is this separated? So distance x y is equal to fifteen. Are separated? Okay. Now add the smaller part. That is distance y z plus distance x z. Distance y z is seven. Distance x z is eight. Seven plus seven plus eight is Fifteen. Okay. Now here to uh, here the addition of so smaller distance is equal to the greater one. So the points are collinear. So therefore, distance y z plus distance x z is equal to the distance between the point x and y. Okay. So therefore, point x y z are collinear. Now the points are collinear. Then you have to decide the between point. Here the greater part or the greater segment is x y. Then the remaining point lie in between the x y is z. So therefore point z lies in between point x and y. Okay. Yes, I have completed question number three of exercise one point one. One more question is there. That question for you. Practice it. Okay.